when you think about what systemic change looks like in the United States, systemic change has always been driven by young people. What will you do with that strength? What will you do with that sense of identity? And what we wanted to do is create pathways and opportunities for young people to really become change makers. I want to be a senator one day. I really want to be someone who is going to make a difference in the world. I like coming to Brussels because it was one of many programs that I first joined when I came to the US. I only knew my family, my dad's side. I had no friends at the beginning and I just decided to join and, you know, explore my areas of interest, you know, just be part of something greater. Our young people are extremely resilient, resourceful, and hardworking. Many of them have limited resources, unfortunately, but that doesn't stop them from reaching the stars. And that's why we're created, right? We're created so that we can uh, challenge the inequities that happen. So I think if you give any young person from our community a chance, you'd be amazed at how awesome they are, at how intelligent they are, and how, how much they can provide and give to this world, given the chance. Stepping into my power is like using my voice to speak and to be heard instead of sitting in the shadows and not saying anything and wanting to get things done. What does it mean to find their voice? What does it mean to be in a space of reimagining and creating and being in a place of wonder? And as they continue to grow with us in our program, thinking about the ways that they can develop their sense of agency, their sense of self. To have your opinion be out there and to be able to talk about something and really be able to show it or just have the knowledge, that's something that I feel like your empowered knowledge We've nurtured and we've built a foundation of home. We enable young people to enter into this space and feel loved, no matter where they are from, what they are carrying, what weight is on their shoulders. We help to remove some of that and to hold them closer, but to also listen. Being a part of a space where you can really allow for young people to be heard, to also share um, and be themselves is absolutely incredible. Brosis has definitely impacted my life for the better, I would say. There's always someone there to talk to. I've had a couple of days where I've just been really stressed, whether it's like with college or school or just my life. And there's always someone at Brosis that can just have, like lend an ear, give you a hug, someone, something like that. Something that you like need in the moment. There's one thing to hope about something, but you have to be what it is that you want. You have to be, the, literally, you have to be the change you want to see. Hopefully I come back and I can help any other child here. I think one of the beauties of working with young people is their unmitigated hope that they have. They are very hopeful, uh, energized, aspirational, right, in their day-to-day -day way of seeing the world. They imagine um, what should be or what could be and want to work towards that. The action is to put that into action. So to say, you know, do you want to heal your neighborhood and your community? Do you want to work in a community garden? Do you want to beautify your neighborhood? Do you want to work around issues of justice and equity? That's what the action means. So it's one thing to just hope, but one can't just sit there and hope or be an internet warrior or a social media warrior. You also have to get to work on these issues as well. Thank you.